live um, from the because I just finished up uh, recording some stuff for Mega Man and Bass, the last thing to the stream. Uh, welcome. So today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Um, in Mega Man Legacy Collection Two, we actually already got all the achievements. All um, so you know we got we got all uh, 50 gold medals and everything. But one thing, but one thing I realized is that um, in Me in the original Mega Man Legacy Collection, I did go over the challenges that we didn't do. Like I showed replays of them. So I figured we should do the same thing for Legacy Collection 2. This will definitely take a little bit longer than the Legacy Collection 1 version of that we uh, that we did for this, but I still think it's important to show the other challenges. So there'll be a lot less talking for me just because my voice is a little bit shot after reading all those CD databases. But uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. Is everyone um, can everyone hear me all right? Like, is all are my uh, is can you see the game? Is, is can you hear me? Everything good? Also, by the way, uh, I actually had to do the Wily Machine 7 uh, challenge on my own because that unlocks these two, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Everything's good? Alright, then let's just jump right into it. So, here's my uh, replay for Wily Machine 7. It's not a gold, but honestly, I don't really care because this was really difficult. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is Wily Machine 7 from Mega Man 7. And uh, you are not allowed to use E-Tanks in this challenge. So you have to beat both the machine and the capsule without any E-Tanks. That is much easier said than done. So first off, I use Thunderbolt in order to try and damage his uh, machine a little bit. As you can see here. So there we go. He's not doing his other attack, which is interesting. Oh, sorry about the mouse, by the way. I'll move that off. And yeah, basically when these skull things show up, make sure you use junk shields so that way you can destroy them quickly. And then I usually just switch back to Thunderbolt so I can hit them a couple more times. So yeah. There's Thunderbolts and junk shields. All right, here we go. All right. Couple more Thunderbolts. Oh, wait, switch to Junk Shield again. Again, I'm not actually playing it. This is just my replay. <laughs> and there's the machine down, but for those but for those of you guys who have played this game, or any Mega Man game for that matter, you know that ain't the end. Time for the Wily Capsule. And this was really hard to do this without E-Tanks, because his attacks do a crap ton of damage. However, there is actually a way that that you can do this. So first of all, the weakness is Wild Coil, so that's important to keep in mind. But another thing is that oh, for here, I didn't, I couldn't really do the trick. But there's actually a way to prevent him from shooting his um, his ball projectiles. Although you have, he has to spawn decently close to you. Um, if you get stuck in a manner where there's not really much you can do, like for example, if those ball projectiles show up, try to get hit by the electric one because if you do, the electric one does the least amount of damage. So, yeah. Otherwise, try and kind of kind of start start by start under him and then basically once you once you start under him, slide to the slide to the left or right and then jump over the balls. If if and again, if you can't do it, just try and get hit by the electric one. That being said, I learned that if you hit the Wily capsule with the thunderbolt, he actually does not shoot out his ball attack. So you can use that, so you can basically start with Wild Coil, charge it up, and then basically immediately hit him with Thunderbolt so that he doesn't do that attack and murder you. As you can see, I had one health for a lot of this fight, so that was pretty brutal. See, so like I said, basically if you wanna if you wanna at least beat this without um without using an E-tank, I recommend using Wild Coil and then basically switching to Thunderbolt and and hitting and electrocuting him so he doesn't shoot out the uh, ball attack. Otherwise, good luck, because it's pretty difficult. All right, there you go. Yeah, this this fight is brutal. Almost done though. And yeah, there you go. Sorry about the lag, by the way. Wasted a little bit of time there, but all right. And yeah, I ran out of uh, I ran out of uh. What is it? Um, wild Coil. So if that happens, just switch to Freeze Cracker. It doesn't do as much damage, but at least does something. So, yeah. 
Got it. Let's go back to Freeze Cracker. Yeah, it only does one damage instead of two, but again, better than literally nothing. I got lucky there. Yes, this fight can be pretty difficult. <laughs> probably one of the probably the hardest Wily Machine fight in the entire series, and one of the hardest fights in general Mega Man in any Mega Man game, really. Although when he spawns right next to you like that, that's definitely really useful because you can just stun him. And yeah, I ran out of Thunderbolt, so I was kind of like, oh god, if I don't hit him now, I pretty much lose. But yeah, I managed to hit him, and there you go. There's Wily Capsule without any E tanks. Pretty hard. Pretty difficult. <laughs> but all right, there's that challenge, Wily Machine 7. So the next challenge we are going to look at is the sub boss rush. And yes, I will posture check. Um. For the rest of these, by the way, I'm just going to look up replays by other people because I haven't done these yet. So, uh, let's look at this one. This one looks fine. So, this is the sub-boss rush buster only. So, obviously, this is pretty difficult to do because you have to do the entire boss rush without, uh... Oh, this guy probably hacked, actually. Ugh, that's unfortunate. So, there's no way he's doing this in 27 seconds. Hold on. What's the gold time for this? One minute 30? All right, so, hold on. Uh, let's go with Robin, I don't know. I just wanna make sure it's not a, it's not a hacked uh, replay, because that would really suck, but. Well, that's one way to defeat the boss. Yeah, I'll foster check, defeat the sub boss. And again, I apologize if this isn't my replays, but I honestly just haven't found the time to do all of these challenges yet, so for now we're going to watch other people's replays for this. But it will at least give you an idea of how to do the challenge. So, yeah. For this one, for example, you're going to want to make good use of the turbo button. As that definitely provides you a good opportunity to defeat these guys. I know this guy's name is Van Pookin. Just because the uh, Mega Man Twitter account frequently, um... Frequently talks about, <laughs> about Van Pookin. Like, around, especially around Halloween, so... Yeah. And there you go, Van Pook is dead. I think that was the last sub-boss, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, there you go. Nice work to Robin. 45 seconds is definitely a good time. Alright, so last Mega Man 7 challenge, the boss rush buster only. Jeez, this is probably going to be pretty brutal. I hate that people hacked, though. That's really stupid. Um... Let's see. Uh... I want to choose one that's, like, definitely not a hack. Uh, let's go with Para H HKG22. So, about four minutes. So yeah, as you can see, you only have the Mega Buster and the Rush Coil, so good luck. This is, uh, beating these bosses Buster only is quite hard, as you can probably imagine. But uh, I guess he's starting with Freeze Man. Ooh, right off the bat. If I remember correctly, because I did, I did do this challenge at one point, and I, if I remember correctly, um, you can die like about once per once per boss and still be okay. If I, if I, if I, if I recall, Although this guy's about to die here, so yikes! Oof, that is he's not doing too great. Yikes! All right, well, guess I'll have to try again. Yeah, I can imagine he's pretty. This, this guy's pretty annoyed. I would be too. All right, starting. I guess he's going to Slash Man. Right. Slash Man is one of my least favorite bosses to do Buster only, just because it's really hard to hit him. Oh, don't tell me this guy hacks. That would really suck. Uh, I think this guy might have hacked. Actually, that's uh, that's rather unfortunate. I I really don't like how there's so many hackers in this game. Like, I don't know why. I mean, I, I mean, I guess we'll keep watching, but... Uh. Or maybe he didn't, I don't know. I hope this guy didn't hack. That would, that would really break my heart. But alright, Slash Man. Alright. Yeah, Slash Man's pretty difficult to do Buster only. So, you gotta be pretty careful. Especially because of those stupid things he drops. I hate those things. Uh, I don't know. 
I'm not sure how he did it in four minutes if he's already if this is already halfway up, so. Yeah, um. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna switch replays, because I'm pretty sure this guy didn't do that. Um let's see. Uh let's go with one that's closer to the gold time, just just to make sure. Um Yeah, let's go with one closer to the gold time. Uh sure. Ask me L, or it's something like that. Sorry about that. Alright, this guy probably did it legitimately. I really don't like that so many of these leaderboards are like, have times that are physically impossible. Like, obviously if it's four minutes, I can kind of believe that. But when he's literally sitting around doing nothing for half the time, you know, it's a bit stupid. Alright, yeah, this guy's, this guy's fine. Alright, so yeah, Slashman is a really difficult boss to do buster only just because of the, uh, those little red things he shoots down at you. I don't know. It just it really annoys me. So I try not to do this Buster Only if, if at all possible. And I, if I remember correctly, those uh, those blobs drop down randomly, so it can be really difficult to hit him. So yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Got to watch out for that. All right. Alright, he's almost dead, thankfully. I can definitely imagine this taking a while, though. <laughs> Alright. Watch out for him. Alright, there he goes. Goodbye. Alright, now on to the next boss, who this is gonna be Freeze Man, as we already know. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's see how he does. Yeah, basically, Freeze Man's thing is that he jumps whenever you shoot, so. Yeah, it is really interesting to see how other people do these types of challenges, because it, it oftentimes when you look at speedruns or whatnot, you can kind of improve your own technique, so. It's really cool. All right. Yeah, just watch out. All right. Watch out for that, and... This guy's doing very well. Alright. There he goes. Alright. Who's the next robot master he's taking on? Oh, Junkman. Alright. Well, Junkman's not too hard, thankfully. Alright. I, I, I mean, even without his weakness, he's not too, too bad. You just have to just pay attention, really. Alright. Hey, nice. Like, this guy's doing a nice job, for sure. I guess it is kind of nice to see him without the, um, using his junk shield, for example, because oftentimes when we, uh, when I, when, when I fight Junk Man, I don't, I basically just use his weakness to demolish him. Because, as you saw in my Mega Man 7 playthrough, uh, Thunderbolt just wrecks him. So. Yeah. I don't know, it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, watch out for the magnetism. And there's Junk Man, Buster only. On to the next boss. Oh, it's Cloud Man, alright. Alright. So, Cloud Man's also not super difficult, Buster only. It's, it's a lot of the same techniques. It's just, you, just, you just don't kill him as quickly, really. Oh, he can also do that. I forgot about that, actually. So yeah, watch out for the rain, because that, that pushes you back. But for the most part, it is a lot of the same techniques that you use during a normal run. So. All right. He's almost dead, though. Ooh, nice. You get Once you get one special weapon, the bosses go down like dominoes. Yeah, pretty much. It, it's kind of like rock, paper, scissors in that way, in that, you know, each robot master is weak to another's weakness, so... All right, Turbo Man. Tur we, all, we actually did Turbo Man Buster only during our uh, main Mega Man 7 playthrough, so he's not too, too hard. He can do a lot of damage, though, if you get hit by him, so you do have to be somewhat careful. So, yeah. Although, yeah, I guess I guess he's kind of stun-locking him here. Not as easy to do with, like, with something like Noise Crush, but you can stun-lock him. All right, nice. 
Yeah, watch out when he does that, because he's going to suck you towards him. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if that's a stun lock. That might just be his pattern, where he does it like three times or whatever. But Turbo Man's dead. All right, who's next? Oh, it's Spring Man. All right, Spring Man's also... Spring Man's actually an interesting fight because he's not... He's so easy with his weakness. It's almost trivial, so it's kind of nice to see him with a, with a couple more attacks. Like, for example, using Wild Coil, which we didn't really see during the uh, Mega Man 7 playthrough. So, that's kind of nice. Let's watch out for that. By the way, if any of you guys have, uh, like, a challenge run that you would want me to watch, like, and if it's up, I'll totally bring it up. Like, just let me know. Uh, obviously, it has to be in the Steam version, though, because I'm, I'm streaming the Steam version, but I'll definitely, uh, I'm definitely willing to show that off if, if you have it. We're all better than Spring Man. <laughs> all right. I think these are the last two Robot Masters, so this guy's doing really well. Well, considering the bat in the background, yeah, it's gonna be Shade Man. All right, figured as much. All right. Shade Man's not too bad, Buster only, but you still have to be pretty careful. <laughs> Spring Man, you guys always act like you're better than me. <laughs> and yeah, you really have to watch out for that attack because it turns you into like a, it turns you to stone, I guess Medusa style, and it can do quite a lot of damage. So watch out for that like blue laser thing that he shoots. Also, if he catches you, he'll suck your he'll he'll suck your health out. He'll say he'll suck out your health and replenish his. So you do have to be careful. But there's Shade Man. Last robot master from Mega Man 7 Buster only. It is Burst Man. This guy is actually a little difficult to do Buster only because his, he, because of the instant death spikes. You don't want to touch those, obviously. All right. I guess he's using the uh, turbo button for this. Kind of like Dr. Doppler, yeah. Although, to be fair, Dr. Doppler in X3 um, doesn't replenish health by taking away yours. He just replenishes health if you shoot at him at the wrong time. So it's not, it's not quite the same, but it is the same idea. You're right. Yeah, this, this fight is, is not great, Buster only, I'll admit. I don't know. All right. Almost done with this. Oh, geez, yeah, yeah, and you, you definitely do not want to get hit in the bubbles like that. That is really bad. And there you go. Kudos to this guy. That was a really clean run. The closest you had to being in a leaderboard was in the top 300 for a time trial leaderboard in the Sonic 2 Switchboard. That's pretty cool, actually. All right, so those are the Mega Man 7 challenges that I didn't show off. On to the Mega Man 8 ones. I don't think we missed many in Mega Man 8, so... Yeah, it's just the Buster-only challenges, so... Guess uh, starting off with a uh, sub boss rush Buster only. So we'll, oh whoops. Uh, so I guess we'll look for times that are around six minutes. Uh, yeah, I, I can't imagine a lot of these. Um, let's go with Comic Sans ninety two. I like this guy's name. So yeah, like I said, this is the sub boss rush Buster only in Mega Man eight. So it's starting off with this like. Uh, this guy from Clown Man stage, I forget his name. Oh yeah, the X Challenge fight with uh, Dr. Doppler and God Car Machine Oenary can be pretty tough. I definitely agree there. This guy is not too bad to do Buster only, but you do have to be a little careful. So, yeah, just be careful around them is all. All right. Oop, yep. Most of the challenges we didn't do, by the way, are in Mega Man 10. Just so you guys know. Alright. Alright, there's that mini boss dead. I can't remember his name, unfortunately. I just don't remember the names of these guys. Alright, now it's this guy from Grenade Man stage. This guy is also not too bad to do Buster only. So. There you go. Yeah, just, just mainly shoot his eye and just watch out for the debris is pretty much all it is. Alright. Yeah, it's, it's not a super hard boss fight. It, it just takes a while, to be honest. Although he dies in like three hits to Astro Crush when you're doing this normally. So, when I say normally, I mean with special weapons. 
Although, to be fair, I actually usually do this stage before Astro Man, so I'm pretty experienced at beating this guy, Buster only. So, yeah, he's dead. Not a super hard mid-boss. Oh, this guy from Sword Man stage is very annoying to Buster only, though. Oh, jeez. Forget his name. Yeah, normally I would use a uh, Flash Bomb here, but like I said, Buster... This uh, Comic Sans 92 here is doing it Buster only, so. Hey, Mr. Bones, how you doing? Ooh, we actually, di actually died. I'm just showing off the Mega Man Legacy Collection 2 challenges that I did not do during the main playthrough. So, this is kind of a bonus stream, if you will. Uh, these are not my replays, by the way. I want to make that fully clear. I'm not trying to seal these or anything. But I think I, I also don't really have the time to go through all these at the moment, so I figured I would just show off... Um, other people's runs. Again, if you happen to have a run, let me know, and I'll definitely try to show it off. Oh, it has to be the Steam version, though, unfortunately, since the uh, leaderboards are not cross-compatible. Alright. So, yeah, when, when the hammer guy shows up, you definitely know you're at, like, halfway, uh, you're halfway through the fight, so at least that, that's nice. Alright. Okay, watch out. Um, I will reveal that probably on Friday. I don't want to get, I don't want to, I kind of want it to be a surprise, I guess. Oh, what the, uh, what the next game is going to be. But I think you guys are going to really like the next game. All right, here's this guy from Aquaman stage. This guy's really annoying. I usually just use Thunderclaw against him. But again, Buster only. Okay. Gotta watch out for his attacks, especially that stupid boxing glove. Alright. He's getting hit by it a lot, unfortunately. Alright. Nice work! Yeah, that was, that, that was a nice kill. I think there's still at least, like, one more mid-boss, though. Oh, yeah, so the, here's the last mid-boss. It's Duo, who is trivia with Ice Wave, but... A little more difficult if you do a Buster only. Oh yeah, I would love a, uh, a remaster of Beautiful Joe. That series rocks. So yeah, they're really good beat em ups for sure. I think I I, I feel like I, yeah I've played every game in the Beautiful Joe series. I, I think that includes the first two. There was that one like PSP game, and there was like. It was like Red Hot Rumble, and there was also a game called Double Trouble, if I remember correctly. Those were good games. Alright, so yeah, there's the sub-boss rush Buster Only from Mega Man 8. Nice work to uh, Comic Sans 92. And last challenge in Mega Man 8, that is the boss rush Buster Only. So, alright, let's see. 12 minutes is the gold time, so let's look for times around there. Um, let's see. Oh, this guy's name is Maple, that's interesting. Um, <laughs> Iceman dot Mega Man One. Uh, I'm gonna look for one that's a little bit. Let's go with this guy named Maple. This guy looks pretty good. I actually, I actually know someone whose stream name is Maple, so that's kind of cool. Probably not the same dude, but yeah, the the boss rush does actually start out with Yato Cargo, which who is the intro stage boss for some reason, but whatever. <laughs> Mega Man Two Wood dot Mini Moment. I didn't know Iceman was a speedrunner. <laughs> yeah. A pretty good one at that, since he got nine minutes on this challenge. Yada Cargo's not too bad, Buster only, but I much prefer to do use the Mega Ball against this guy. So. Like I said, he, he goes down in, like, a only a couple hits if you use the Mega Ball. So. Oh, I love Little Nightmares. Yeah, I played the first one on Switch. It's a really good horror game. Um, I really want to get the second one. I tried the demo and loved it, but I'm a little short on, um, Switch funds at the moment, so I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to get that one. Ooh, started with Search Man. All right. This will be interesting. Ready? Yeah, let's go. All right, here's Search Man. But yeah, Little, Light Little Nightmares is a fantastic game. All right. Unfortunately, you can't uh, expose where Search Man is with Flame Sword because you don't have Flame Sword. You only have Mega Buster. Also, that projectile is really annoying that he throws. Oh, Mega Sniper! 
Right. Despite the only the only horror stuff, the only horror stuff you you might try is those like uh, uh, Resident Evil and Dead Rising. That's fair. Not everyone's super into horror. I can understand that. Um, I've only played um a couple Resident Evil games. I played two and three. I haven't beaten either of them though. I've just played them, and I thought they were pretty good. Um, I haven't. I have not played Dead Rising, but I really want to. That series looks really fun. All right, well, Search Man's almost dead, so there you go. Oh, now he is dead. Nice work. So, oh, uh, here's Aquaman. But you can call me Handsome Guy. <laughs> yeah, Dead Rising does look really fun. And yeah, there, there, there are a lot of Mega Man things spread in there. Like, for example, in the first Dead Rising game, you can have, like, a Serve Bot mask from Mega Man Legends, which is really cool. Um, there's also, like, the, the X-Buster, or the X-Buster and the Z-Saber are weapons, which is really, which is really awesome. I love all the callbacks and whatnot. Hello, Landy the Ferrishot, how you doing? We're just going over some extra challenges in Legacy Clutching 2. Again, I am not playing this, this is someone else's replay. Yes, you did hear Mega Man Legends, I was talking about the Serve Bot mask in Dead Rising. And yes, the third game has the first armor from Mega Man X1, which is awesome. Yeah, the best way to defeat Aquaman Buster only is to mo is to basically just, when he does the, that attack where he shoots above you, just get close to him. And when he does the attack where he shoots out strings of water, just hang out by the wall. So, Aquaman's not too bad Buster only, thankfully. Be a surf bot and cause mayhem, yeah. Oh, you think you know which games, Landy? I'm curious to see which ones you think I'm gonna play. All right, well, here's Sword Man. Nothing personal, but I got orders. Sword Man's a really cool boss. I like his, I like his patterns. Just watch, just watch out for his flame sword. Also his, you know, Mega Man's forward aerial in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And Smash 3DS Wii U, for that matter. Yeah, this guy's doing well. I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed with this dude. Alright. Alright. Yep, now watch out. Alright. Nice work. Alright. On to the next one. Who's this guy? Oh, Astro Man, all right. <laughs> Astro Man, adorable. Oh, annoying in Mega Man at base, but awesome in Mega Man 8. You wanna say in the later games, you can get a costume that gives you par characters from other Capcom characters, or powers from other Capcom characters like Ryu, that's interesting. Uh, Lanny the Ferris shot with Dean highlight my message and says it's either Streets of Kamurocha or Golden Axe, the cancelled prototype. You have little to no playtime on them according to your Steam page. You have no achievements in both and, re and refer to points one and two. Um, I will tell you right now, neither of those are correct. We are not going to be playing Streets of Kamurocha or Golden Axe. So, unfortunately, you are mistaken. Sorry. But, uh,. I will say, and I'll say this again at the end of the at the end of the uh, stream, but your hints for the next game that I will be playing are as follows. Hint number one: it is not a Mega Man game. In fact, it's like it's not even close to a Mega Man game. And hint number two is it is a game from my Steam library. If you want to check that out, I have it listed on my Twitch page. You can also just you know visit my my uh, my Steam profile. So yeah, anything from my Steam library besides. Besides the Mega Man games and Golden Axe and Streets of Kamurocho is fair game. All right, here's Frost Man. Obviously, since he's the first robot master, I, I recommend defeating in Mega Man 80s. Pretty straightforward. So, all right, Frost Man. All right. All right. Yeah, just watch out for his uh, attacks. Ooh, yeah, you gotta be careful about that. Alright. Yep, jump over that. 
Alright. Ooh. I will neither confirm nor deny any guesses. By the way. I will only tell you if you are wrong. Like, if you are completely wrong. Otherwise, I am not going to say whether you are, you are right or wrong. I will say that two people have... Oh, here's Grenade Man. And he died. Um, so far, the two guesses in the chat are Chrono Trigger and Golf with Your Friends. Again, neither confirming nor denying any of them. And yeah, Frostman has made us spare Clown Man parts, as was stated in Mega Man and Base, which is really creepy. Here's Grenade Man. Right. Ooh, nice slide. Yeah, dodging those bars can be really annoying. Alright. Nice. I know a fun RPG series I think you might like, Yakuza. I've been considering trying Yakuza, but I don't really know a lot about it, to be honest, so... Um, yeah, I just don't really own any of the games, and I just... I know nothing about it, so I'd have to do more research. So, alright, two more bosses in this replay. Oh, Clown Man. Uh, Clown Man can be annoying, Buster only. No <laughs> alright. Yeah. Watch, watch out for that thing, because that freaking Thunderclaw can be really annoying to dodge. This boss in general is just not really that fun to fight Buster only, so, yeah, I don't know. Not really a fan of it. Just, yeah. Alright. It's more of an action RPG akin to stuff like Kingdom Hearts. Or, or, although there's no gigantic keys or Disney. Yeah. Kingdom Hearts is weird, man. Like, imagine a series where every single game, no matter how much of a spin-off it is, counts towards the story. That is a weird concept, and... Not one I particularly am fully on board with. I do want to try Kingdom Hearts, but I've never gotten the chance to. Alright, well here's Tengu Man. Kingdom Hearts does look interesting though, even if the continuity is completely out of whack. Tengu Man's a fun boss to do Buster only though. Tornado Hold! Okay. Yeah, just watch out for those. Yeah, that's true. You can have Mickey Mouse fighting Cloud Strike. That is cool. All right, so congratulations to this user who had a really good uh, replay. Nice work. Uh, that was... Hold on, let me see if I can find it again. Yeah, Maple. Nice work. All right, so those are the Mega Man 8 challenges that we didn't do. On to the Mega Man 9 challenges. There's a couple more of these. Um, let's see. Okay, so here... So, for example, we have Spike Pushers Red and Blue as Mega Man. So... All right, looking for times around one minute. Uh, let's go with let's go with chlorate. See how this guy does it. Spike pushes red and blue. If I remember correctly, weak to tornado blow. I think. Although I think you also need to use the Buster. So, with it, yeah, I think you use the Buster for the most part. This boss is really annoying. Not really my favorite. Edgy Mickey. <laughs> yeah. You have to be pretty precise with this boss, and usually I use an E-Tank here, so... Yeah, that's why I didn't do this one when I did the original playthrough, so... And yeah, there's an example of Tornado Blow. Oh, that's a really easy way to kill them, I guess. There you go. Yeah, some of the challenges as Proto Man are pretty difficult. Alright, so there's Spike Pushers, Red and Blue is Mega Man. Here's Spike Pushers, Red and Blue is Proto Man. Uh, let's see... Uh, sure, Oversoul. Again, congrats to all of these guys for their excellent replays. You guys are really good at this game. Alright, so once again, Spike Pushers red and blue, but this time it's Proto Man. Proto Jet? That's a bit of a weird thing to use. Not sure why you would use that, but alright. You would figure... Oh, it's probably because it allows you to shoot multiple bullets, that's why. Okay, that makes sense. I guess it's a bit of a glitch. Alright, fair enough, I suppose. Alright, and then, yeah, now you use Tornado Blow, because, you know, you just kill the rest of them. Yeah, nice work. Nice work, indeed. Alright. 
Alright, uh, next is going to be... Wily Machine 9 is Proto Man. Ugh, this took me forever in the Mega Man 9 playthrough. Alright. Gold is five minutes, so let's see. I have a feeling it you can beat this in less than five minutes, but still. Um, these are some interesting names. Uh, let's go with this guy named an actual anteater. <laughs> that, that's a funny name. Yeah, this, this boss is brutal as Proto Man, and to do this with no E-Tanks, I mean, jeez. I can't even imagine that. You can, you can get hit so few times. Okay, I guess he's... Oh, that, that's really clever, using Laser Trident to break the eggs immediately. Not sure I agree with that, though, since I might want to use that. Actually, no. I don't know why I would want to use that in the boss fight, because, you know, it's weak to concrete shot for this part. And dude's Alter Ego, yeah. Although I guess sliding also helps. Yeah, you gotta be really careful in this boss because Proto Man takes so much damage. Also, Ant Dude is an awesome YouTuber. You definitely watch him if you, uh, if you haven't. He actually made a, he actually made a uh, video about Mega Man and Base and the Mega Man Zero and ZX series for that matter. All right, and Wily Capsule, who was big to Plug Ball, got some really good hits in. Now there's so much of this boss is RNG really annoying. Oh, almost got him, too. Alright. I guess he's switching to Torn Tornado Blow? Well, I guess Tornado Blow does a decent amount of damage. Alright, and then he's switching back to Plug Ball, I guess, so we can get the final blow. Nice work! That was a really close match. Nice work to an, an Anteater, or an actual Anteater. Nice, nice job. Alright, uh, now we got the uh, Buster Only one. So here's the sub-boss rush Buster Only. Looking for a time of about three minutes. Um, go with this guy, Oversoul. Hopefully it's not a hack. I presume it isn't. Although I guess you can kill these guys pretty quickly if you know what you're doing. Nice. All right. Next up is this Boulder guy. The first one was from, uh, I think they're I think they're like setting all these in um in fake man stage and you know the uh, special stage from Mega Man 9 because remember that stage is every single mid boss in the entire game so that, that's probably where these are like set technically all right after that is the dragon guy who isn't super difficult Lanny the Ferris shot with Dean highlight my message it says I kind of want to see how those hackers hack the time now just as a joke I don't know basically they just kind of stand there and, and they run out the clock I, I guess. I don't really know how it works. Oh, this guy hacked. Well, okay, I guess. This guy hacked. That's unfortunate. I was hoping this guy wouldn't have hacked, but I think he did, because it said like 48. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's sad. <sighs> Alright, uh, let's scroll down then. Um, We'll go with Diego, I guess. 52 seconds. Alright. Alright. Yeah, hackers. Don't hack it on leaderboards, guys. It's really uncool. I'm sorry that I, like, showed off the hackers. I didn't mean to, but it's just, uh, it's hard to tell sometimes which ones are not good runs. And if, and if I wrongly misjudged any of these, by the way, I really apologize. It's the hacker to you. <laughs> Alright. Now we have this boss, Buster only. Alright, and then the dragon. This guy probably did it legitimately. Usually you can tell if it's a hacked run if the, if the guy just stands there for like too long. Yeah, alright, that one's a legitimate run. That's a legit run, nice work. That was a really fast time for sure. 52 seconds, nice. 283 to be precise. Who was who, who this, this run from again? I need to check. This was, uh, Diego. Nice, nice work, Diego. That was a good run. All right, but, all right, so now we have the boss rush as Mega Man, but it's Buster only, so 12-minute times we're looking for. See, like, look at this. Really? One second? Nah, no way. Um, hmm. Uh, let's check out this one by Firestorm5. I like this guy's name. 
Alright. These bosses in particular are really hard to do Buster only, so Firestorm 5, you have a good run. Oh nice, Storm Eagle's playing Octopath Traveler. Alright. So first up is Jewel Man. Yeah, there's no way you can do this in one second. Like, that's, that's not possible. I don't know why this guy's not jumping, though. That's a little sus. I must admit, that, that that's a little suspicious, but... Eh. Maybe he went into the wrong one? I don't know. Alright. Alright, Hornet Man. This guy's not jumping that much, which is a little, little suspicious, I gotta say. Uh, I think this guy might have hacked too. Uh, that's unfortunate. Because there's no way. It's already over a minute. And, uh, I, I don't know. It just... Yeah, let's let's switch replays. I think this one's... That's, that's really sad. Alright, um... Let's go to the bottom then. Or towards the bottom. Alright, any of these guys? Are any of these guys? No. Um... Let's try Dreyus. Hopefully this one's legit. Alright, yeah, this guy, this guy's probably legit. Alright, so he's starting with, uh, Galaxy Man, which makes sense, because Galaxy Man is pretty RNG heavy. Oh yeah, I, 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 I believe this guy did it legitimately. Alright. This guy's really good, actually. It's a good technique. And by the way, using the turbo button is not hacking. You can you, you can map that to a button. I have it mapped to the A button, for example. I'm talking about like, you know, having times that are unrealistic. Yeah, this guy's the real deal for sure. Because there, the, I, I recognize a lot of these techniques, and this is definitely something a more experienced player would do. So that was a, that was not the best move, but that's all right. All right, almost done with Galaxy Man already. This is very quick. Nice work! Nice work! Alright. Looks like he's going to do another top one. And yes, I'll hydrate. This is Plug- Oh, Plug Man is so annoying, Buster only. His attacks do so much damage, it's a little ridiculous, honestly. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of Plug Man Buster only. Was pretty quick, man, yeah. Alright, well, almost dead. Yeah, this guy is pretty skilled. I'm definitely impressed. I wonder if we'll find like an actual speedrunner on here, since I do know who a couple of the Mega Man speedrunners are. Alright. Concrete Man. Not a super hard robot master to do Buster only, but does a crap ton of damage. So if you, if you mess up, you will pay dearly. Although he's very slow as well, so that, that definitely helps things. Alright. All right, nice. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to get hit by those, because that does a lot. Alright. And nice. Nice work. Alright, he's going to this one. Oh, Splash Woman, alright. One of my favorite robot masters. Yeah, Splash Woman is rad. Alright, oop! Oh. Alright. Concrete Man. Guts Man, but he doesn't destroy and instead does the opposite. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, there's some nice shooting skills, by the way. Seeing Wario's shoulder bash. Oh yeah, from Concrete Man. Nice work defeating Splash Woman. Guts Man Sonic Boom redesign. <laughs> Alright, Jewel Man. Not a super hard boss, but we mostly just he jumps whenever you jump, so. Just use that to your advantage. That way you can you can kind of let him jump over you. Again, apologies for this uh, slight lag. Right. Yeah, you gotta be careful when you shoot Jewel Man and he has his Jewel satellite up, because you don't want to hit that, because otherwise the Jewels will come flying at you. This guy's got some real skill. Nice. Wait, 
how many left? All right, three left. Imagine getting shot as you're singing. Yeah, that doesn't sound fun. All right, Hornet Man. Hornet Man's not too bad, Buster only, but you still have to be careful about the bees. Usually I, sh I try to shoot two of them down, so that way, because usually the third one you misses anyway. This is definitely more of a survival type boss fight where you're just trying to outlive his attacks. Imagine, yeah. Alright. Ooh. Almost missed that one. Gotta be careful, dude. Alright. Alright. Nice work! Alright. Who's next? Oh, he's going up to that one. Ah, Tornado Man! One of my favorite robot masters! Ah, this guy's awesome. Alright. He's not super difficult to do Buster only, but it, it just takes a while because usually when he's up there, it's hard to shoot him because, you know, you'll get knocked into the spikes if you try to jump up there. Wow, Mr. Bones, you got a, ye you did a yellow devil in 41 seconds? Nice, nice shooting. I assume you did the pause trick and whatnot, but still, nice. Those are tornadoes in, the, in, in that fight. All right, and Magma Man. Magma Man is probably the hardest boss buster only, just because he's a little erratic. So, yeah. <laughs> small Harpoia. Well, hold on. If, if Tornado Man is Small Harpoia, does that make Magma Man Small, Fe small Fethnir and Splash Woman Small Leviathan? Landy the Ferris Shot also redeemed highly my message. It says he only fires BBs because he has, he has bee honey combo. He has bee honey combs. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, nice work to this dude. Very, very well done. All right, um, so those are all the Mega Man 9 challenges. So now we just have to look at the Mega Man 10 challenges and we'll be done. Let's see, we did not do the weapons archive time attacks as I think is all three of them, yeah. So starting off with Mega Man, we're looking for a time of about three minutes. Um, let's see. Let's go with Row. The Weapons Archive is actually one of my favorite bosses in the entire series, but I didn't do this one with the challenge because it, I didn't do the challenge version of this because it can be a little difficult um, to to kill these guys quickly. So, starting off with the Gemini Man one. There's Wood Man, and there's Elect Man. I know that all three of these guys are weak to Wheel Cutter, technically, but I guess you can also use Triple Blade for Wood Man. So next up is Napalm Man, he's Rebound Striker. Ring Man, Solar Blaze, which makes sense considering it's Ferris Shot. So it's an XP for Ferris Shot, and then Water Shield for um, Flame Man. Landy the Ferris Shot says, you can't comprehend how many times these B puns will come back. Oh no, not the B puns from Ukulele and the Impossible Lair again. Buzz off. Well, there's the Tornado Man one. Slash Man. And Frostman. Yeah, the Frostman one can be difficult to hit. No, not more of the B puns, though. B prepared? Oh, no. I thought I was done with those. All right, Weapons Archive time attack is Proto Man this time. Looking for a time of about three minutes. Uh. Uh, sh sure, Shin. Yeah, the Weapons Archive time attack is Proto Man can be pretty difficult. All right. All right, starting off with Woodman. No, I don't think I will. <laughs> There's a Lack Man. Yeah, basically doing it as Proto Man and Gemini Man. Basically doing it as Proto Man is base is the same thing as doing it as Mega Man, but you have to be a little more you have to be a little more careful because you take more damage. There comes Napalm Man. There goes Napalm Man. Ring. I actually... Oh, Flame Man. I do actually like the original ukulele. It's... It's... It, it is definitely... It's got a lot of problems, but it is still enjoyable to play, in my opinion. This Tornado Man. Um, it, it's just... It's... Look, is it as good as the original Banjo-Kazooie? No, not even close. But you know what? I actually do think it's a fun game in its own right. And there goes, uh... Frost and uh, Slash, for that matter. 
So yeah, I, I, I do recommend at least trying ukulele, but I understand if you don't like it because it is, it does have its own fair share of problems, but I don't know. I personally think it's pretty fun. All right, and weapons archive time attack is base. Um. Oh, look at Row again. Like I said, same thing as uh, with Mega Man and Proto Man. Just use use the right weapons for the job. All right. Yeah, there you go. All right. Here's a Lack Man. Wood. And Gemini. Well, there's Gemini. <laughs> Alright, there comes Napalm. There goes Ring. Watch out for Ring. And Flame. I, I love this idea of facing, of facing the other Robot Masters. It's such a great concept. Alright. Frost. Pretty hard to hit Frost with Commando Bombs sometimes. I don't know why. Tornado. Really annoying to hit Tornado with, with friggin' Thunderwool and Slash. Nice work. Although I think technically his weakness is Chill Spike, if I remember correctly. Alright, uh, next one we are going to see is the Wily Machine 10 time attack as Proto Man. Or as Proto Man, as Mega Man. So, here's Wily Machine 10 time attack as Mega Man. Let's go with, uh... Oh, Joker! Yo, this guy is cool. This guy is a speedrunner. So, yeah, Joker, if you ever happen to watch this, your runs are awesome. I was hoping we would find a, one of the uh, Mega Man speedrunners on here. So, yeah, here's Joker's run of Wily Machine 10's time attack as Proto Man. Proto Man, as Mega Man. I, that's the second time I made that mistake. Yeah, use Solar Blaze here. I'm using Rush Coil, I guess. Come on. What's he- Oh, and then he's using Water Shield? That is so cool! That's a really clever way of taking out Wily Machine 10. Well done, Joko. Well done. That is awesome. So yeah, there's Wily Machine 10 time attack as Mega Man. Next up is Wily Machine 10 time attack as Proto Man. Let's see. Um, who's on here? <laughs> Rico X Zero. For those of you guys who don't know who Rico is, Rico is from uh, Rockman X Dive. She's one of the navigators, and apparently this person likes shipping her with Zero. I don't know why, but that's what they like doing. All right, so same. Why the Machine Ten as Proto Man, not Mega Man this time. Actually, as Proto Man, same thing. Use Solar Blaze, then use Water Shields. Just be more careful is all it is. So. Not using the rush coil technique that Joka did. Fair enough, I guess. <laughs> I love this. I love Rico X Zero. That guy's name is hilarious. Alright. Nice quick kill, though. Nice. How did the Phantom Thief turn into Mega Man? <laughs> Alright, now we have base. So, Wily Machine 10 time attack is base. All right, let's see. Uh, hmm. Oh, Rico X Zero has yet another one. Let's see what this guy's up to. All right. All right. Yeah, same thing as before, just playing as base this time. Not too much different, to be honest. Alright. And there you go. Yeah, that's true. It's probably a little easier as base just because you can shoot upwards or at, at, an, at, a dia at a diagonal angle, so it might be easier to hit him. Or to hit Wily Machine 10, so. I do love the pirate Wily Machine, though. It's pretty funny. There you go. <laughs> and the leader of the robot thieves of abilities. <laughs> true. Alright. So there's Wily Machine 10 as base. What's next? We got uh, Wily Capsule as Proto Man. Uh, this one you can probably do pretty quickly. Uh, 
see. Okay, let's go with someone literally named Mega Man. I mean, although he's playing as Proto Man here. Now I've got your treasure. Robot Masters of Heart, yeah. All right, so remember the weakness here is Chill Spike. It's not too difficult to do this as Proto Man, but I opted not to do it on my original playthrough just because you, you, you do still have to be careful because um, Proto Man takes double damage and whatnot, so. And you have no E-Tanks, so, you, so. That's why I opted not to do this during the uh, Mega Man 10 playthrough. Or, I'm sorry, not during the Mega Man 10 playthrough, during the uh, Legacy Collection 2 Challenges playthrough. But yeah, there you go. Not too bad. All right, uh, next up is the sub -bo boss rush Mega Man as Buster only. So, looking for a time of about four minutes. Uh, let's see. Uh, X Zero. I like one of the good. Let's go with um. Let's go with Future Shock. All right, so here's the castle thing. This, this challenge shouldn't be too too difficult because the bosses and sub bosses in this game aren't ridiculous, but. I imagine you still have to be a little precise. I completely agree. Nine and ten are some of my favorite games of all time, and are definitely the uh, some of the better classic games. All right, here's the goalie guy. This guy always annoys me, though. He's, he's not too bad, but he can sometimes be annoying. You have to watch out for those stupid soccer balls. Is the main thing. Yeah, because otherwise that'll happen. Um, you are right, Shivis. Nine was actually originally intended to be a DS game, but Inti Creates um, figured out that since the DS's resolution is much is less than even that of the NES, the game just wouldn't function right. Like it would be weird to have an NES style Mega Man game when the DS can't really even render NES games like that. So they they just basically scrapped it and made it for the Wii. And then, obviously, the PS3 and Xbox 360. Yeah, you're right, Mr. Bones. The pitch for Nine and the pitch for Nine came from a mini game in uh, ZX Advent, being Mega Man A. And then, of course, Ten came after Nine. All right, time for the Boss Rush Buster only from Mega Man. Let's let's see who did this in under 12 minutes. Uh, some of these guys are doing really well. Um, Firestorm doesn't have a replay. Yeah, let's go. I, I skipped over this guy earlier. Let's see how Iceman.MegaMan1 played this. Yeah, I'm also kind of glad this dude didn't... That Inti Crates didn't, uh... That didn't didn't make it for DS, because I feel like it wouldn't have worked very well. Anyways, here's Blade Man. It does win an N64 remake very well, but again, that's a remake. That's not the N64 original. I feel like if they tried to port Mega Man 9 to DS, it wouldn't quite have worked. So, I don't know. I, I think it was probably for the best that they didn't make it a DS game. I think with Blade Man's pretty easy to do Buster only, so. Iceman.mm1 made a good choice here. There you go. Yeah, I was basically just baiting him to the other side of the arena. And there, there he goes. Alright. Next is Chill Man. That's true, we did get an awesome game in the end. One of my favorite games of all time, actually. All right, here's Chill Man. Chill Man's not too bad. He has mostly the same pattern, but you do have to be a little careful. All right. That's true, Legacy Collection 1 did release on the 3DS, which is really cool. Um, yeah. No, I said nine is one of my favorites. All right, here's Nitro Man, another one of my favorite robot masters. I love this guy. Yeah, watch out for his wheel cutter. Not too bad, Buster only, though. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just, just gotta bait him, basically. All right. Oh, sorry about that. Um, I don't see anything on my end, though. My bitrate seems fine, or my drop frame seems fine, at least on my end. 
All right, where's Nitro Man? Now we have Strike Man. This guy can be annoying to do Buster only, as I showed um, during my base playthrough. Not super annoying, but you do have to be a little careful. This guy's doing a good job, though. Easy to do is Proto Man or Base, because um, you can slide, obviously. Or dash, in Base's case. Oop, he got hit there. Uh, X Challenge runs on X6's engine, you're right, because you can duck and use the Z Saber. Alright. Next boss is Pump Man. I just don't like. Pump Man's a good boss fight. I really like Pump Man, but using Thunderwool against him is so annoying! Mostly, mostly just because I, well, I don't like Thunderwool, but still. Fight Strike Man is base. Eh. Strike Ball's a good weapon, or Strike... And you do like it. Baseball. Baseball! Ah, oh, I see what you did there. Ha ha ha! Nice. Although, technically, it's not Strike Ball. The actual weapon name is Rebound Striker. What's the... <laughs> baseball. Ah, man! I, fe I feel that. I feel that death. Uh, sorry, Iceman.mm1. That is definitely an unfortunate death. Nope, oh, guess he's fighting Pump Man again. Alright. Yeah, you gotta watch out for those stupid, uh, water shield pellets. There you go. Yeah, you just gotta watch out for that. Big F, yeah. Alright. Might not be everyone's forte. Ah, I get it. Nice. Alright, who's next? Ah, Commando Man. Trivial with this weakness. Not too hard without it. You, you do it, but you do have to pay attention. Unlike when you use weakness, where you can just spam the Y button and win, basically. Or or if you're playing on the Wii, I guess spam the one button. I do like how uh, NT Crates kind of replicated the NES's controls with the Wii remote. That using you know one to shoot and two to jump, if I remember correctly, that was that was really cool. Fun fact about Pump Man: Pump Man was a concept robot from Mega Man Two. You are right. Here's Sheep Man, Cyber Sheep's dream. I know, right? Mega Man 10 released in 2010. Where has the time gone? I still remember playing this game on the Wii. Jeez. Where has the time gone? Oh, man. All right. There you go. Yeah, you gotta watch out for those, um... Well, they're not Thunder Wolves. They're, I guess they're just like electric balls or whatever. There you go. Alright, last Robot Master. And it's Solar Man! Oh, geez. Solar Man is really difficult without his weakness. Because he is fast, he does a lot of damage, and he's just generally pretty hard. I do recommend giving Devil May Cry a shot. It is it is a really good series, although I've only played the first three games, because that's what's on the Switch. I, I got all three of them on the Switch, because when you buy the third game on the Switch, you get the first two half off, which is really cool. But um, I do recommend giving it a try if you can, at least the first and third games, because they're really fun. Ooh, this, this is going to be a close match. I know if you shoot his uh, solar thing on the top, the solar blazes get... Um, get bigger, so you gotta be careful about that. Ooh, that was a close one. That's fair, Sans Gaming. So yeah, nice work to Iceman.mm1. That was a very smooth, uh, boss rush buster only. Alright, only got a couple left. We, basically just the, uh, time attacks for the Mega Man killer. So here's the anchor time attack as Mega Man. Um, sure, we'll go with this guy. 
I love Heart of Anchor, it's a good song. Uh, by the way, you cannot use the Mega Man killer weapons in this mode, so you have to use the Buster, basically. Wait, here's the Anchor time attack is Mega Man. Mm. Yeah. I do love the Mega Man killers, they're really cool. Alright. Alright. Yeah, nice work to that guy. That was, that was very creative. Yes, the Mega Man Killers are from the Game Boy games. All right, here's the Anchor Time Attack as Proto Man. So what's interesting is due to the... um, So in the original game, you actually were unable... Uh, sure, CN Division 05 uh, run. But in the original Mega Man 10, you actually cannot fight the Mega Man Killers as Proto Man or base. Meaning this Legacy Collection is the first time you're able to do so, which is really cool. So, here's here's the guy doing his proto man. This guy's like an online cloud player. <laughs> um, that's a good question, Shivis. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Cause, uh, Blod has a Blod basically has a chance of appearing in um in his other like sunglasses form whenever you fight him in the time attack, but it's pretty rare. All right, and last one, anchor time attack is base. Um, let's see. Sure, chlorate again. All right. Let's see how chlorate handles this. Although playing a fighting anchor as base is probably pretty easy because yeah, you can just shoot him in any direction. So, Ballad versus Blood versus the cooler Blood. <laughs> Yeah, I would figure doing this as base would be pretty easy. Yeah, the best Game Boy game is definitely 5, although 4 is also pretty good. The others are eh. Alright, moving on, we have the Punk Time Attack as Mega Man. Uh, sure, Chlorate's run. Chlorate definitely had a lot of good runs here. Oh, get the Punk out is so good. All right, let's see, how, let's see how Chlorine handles the punk time attack as Mega Man. All right. Gotta watch out for Screw Crusher. Right, I guess his, I guess his uh, strategy is to just try and stay close to him so you can hit him as many times as possible. You gotta be careful though with those uh, Screw Crushers. Nice work. That was nice. nice. Nice job. All right. Well, I have a feeling the strategy for Proto Man is going to be pretty different, considering he doesn't take he takes more damage. But here's the Punk Time Attack as Proto Man. Uh, I'm sure Chlorate again. Chlorate definitely had a lot of good runs here, so I'm happy to show these off for you all. And again, these are not my runs. Just want to make that absolutely clear. These are other people's runs. All right, Punk Time Attack is Proto Man. Yeah, like I said, the strategy is probably going to be different just because you can't get close to him. Otherwise, he'll, you know, he'll do quite a lot of damage. Oh, jeez. Like, right, right here, already almost dead. Gotta watch out. Although, I guess the Proto Buster will definitely help since you can charge it in this game. Yeah, that, that definitely helped. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> All right. All right, next up is the Punk Time Attack as base. Let's see, is Chlorate... Yep, Chlorate has yet another good run. 25 seconds, nice work. All right. All right, Punk. Last time. All right. Oh yeah, the multi-directional shot will definitely come in handy. You can kill him so quickly. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Alright. And the final few challenges, guys. We got we got the Balad. Or the Blood Time Attack. So first up, we have Blood Time Attack Mega Man. Uh, all right, sure. 
Farewell to Balad is also a really good summon. All right. Blah's not a super difficult boss, thankfully. No sunglasses this time, though. Okay. Yeah, he's not super difficult. He has a pretty easy to suss out pattern. There you go. Yeah, just watch out for the blood crackers hidden around. There you go. All right. Next up is blood time attack as Proto Man. Once again, Chlorate. Had a friend that brought his Game Boy Color with Game Boy Mega Man games to school. That's really cool, actually. That's a good friend of yours. Cool friend of yours. All right. So here's Blood Time Attack Proto Man. Most of the same. Just again, just take less damage because obviously Proto Man has a uh, lower defense. I don't think you can block the Blood Crackers using the Proto Shield, unfortunately. So. This one might be a little difficult. All right. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Nice work, Chlorate. All right, last one. The live time attack base. After that, um, I'm gonna end off the stream because that's the last challenge. All right, blood time attack base. Um, oh, I see Chlorate didn't have a time this time. That's interesting. Uh, sure, Tom Vega. Mega Man 3 Game Boy. Ah, oh, that's really cool. All right, well, here's, here's Blod. No sunglasses, unfortunately. All right. That's an interesting technique. I mean, I, I guess it makes sense, but still. I mean, good try. <laughs> Didn't work, but also, I think this is... Wait, hold on. I think this actually is a hack, because... Hold on. It was 16 seconds. I guess it could have, but we'll just we'll see another one. Uh oh, here's Chlorate. Alright. Good try with that, even though it wasn't didn't work. That was an interesting move. Alright, last one. You saw some of the Snake Man stage? <laughs> oh, this guy's doing it too. That's interesting. You better move, dude. I was about to say, you gotta move or else you're gonna die. Ooh, that was close. That was really close, geez. But all right, with that, those are the other challenges that I personally did not do during my Mega Man Legacy Collection 2 playthrough. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little look at the other challenges. Uh, like I said, in order to get the achievements on this one, uh, all you have to do is get 50 of, like, the 74 gold medals, so you have a lot of leeway to choose what challenges you want to do, and, yeah, I'll hydrate you, this. All right. Hmm. All right. Um, before we end off the stream, I do actually want to talk about, uh, two things. So, I'm going to exit out of the game real quick. Hold on a sec. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna talk about two quick things before we end off the stream for the night. Uh, first of all, we actually have a new emote. Uh, if any of you guys happen to be a tier three, or we will have a new emote. Um, if any of you guys happen to be a tier three sub at any point, um, I am currently in the process of uploading a new emote that was submitted by Shivis. It's like a an eight bit pixel version of the height of the water bottle, the the cow, the comically oversized water bottle. It's really cool and. Thanks again, Shivas, for submitting it. I really appreciate it. But, so yeah, we're gonna... Uh, hopefully that will be um, usable starting next stream. I submitted it last night, so it's still going through the process and everything. But, oh, and I'll stretch. But yeah, thanks again to Shivas for submitting that email. I really appreciate it. It looks awesome. I can't wait to show it off to you guys. Ugh. And since that was the end of Mega Man Legacy Collection 2... Uh, and also Mega Man Base, because I recorded that earlier. Uh, we are going to be starting our next stream series on Friday. Uh, or not next Friday for live uh, audiences, obviously. And I have two... I already said the two hints earlier in the stream, but in case you forgot, you have two hints as to what it's going to be. It is a game in my Steam library, is hint number one. And hint number two is that it is not a Mega Man game. So it's not any of the Mega Man games. So... Yeah, you still got quite a lot of uh, choices. You know, there's still a lot of options for you to pick from. 
There were a couple of guesses in the chat earlier. Um, I guess I can go over a couple of them that I have. Uh, nope, I'm not saying anything more. So, base, all right, let, let's go over the options, I guess, at this time. Um, so, it could be... Um, so, the, the options, basically, for you guys to choose from are Battle Block Theater, Brutal Legend, Castlevania Anniversary Collection, Chrono Trigger, Costume Quest... Gang Beasts, Golf With Your Friends, Heavy Rain, Mighty Gunvolt, Mighty Gunvolt Burst, Mighty Number no. 9, Knights Into Dreams, Persona 4 Golden, Plasma Puncher, um, Sonic, basically Sonic the Hedgehog, the, the trilogy, 1, 2, and 3, and Knuckles, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, Ultra Street Fighter 4, Street Fighter 5, Tabletop Simulator, and Wargroove. So, there are a lot of choices. Um, you actually, you know, you know what? Uh, just to make things a little bit easier for you guys, it's not a Mega Man styled game either. So it's not it's not Mighty Gunvolt, it's not Mighty Gunvolt Burst, it's not Mighty Number no. Nine. So it's not any of those. It's something completely different. I guess I'll, I'll make that a little more clear. But once again, to read through the choices, your options for guessing are Battle Block Theater, Brutal Legend, Castlevania Anniversary Collection, Chrono Trigger, Costume Quest, Gang Beasts, Golf with Your Friends, Heavy Rain, Nights into Dreams, Persona 4 Golden, Plasma Puncher. The Sonic the Hedgehog Trilogy, 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles. Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. Ultra Street Fighter 4. Street Fighter 5. Tabletop Simulator and Wargroove. So, you guys can leave your answers in the chat and we'll find out on Friday. So, I, I wish you guys the best of luck in guessing. Um, and yeah, I'm really, I, I will say I am really looking forward to playing this game. It's definitely going to be very interesting to say the least. And I will be revealing it on Friday. So, yeah, hope you guys hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, anyways, for now, I gotta get going. But thank you all so much for watching all these Mega Man streams. Don't worry, we are not done with Mega Man Forever. We will eventually return to it. But for now, I do want to take a little bit of a break and try to stream some other stuff. So, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I am One One Two signing off for now. See you all later, everyone. Have a good night.